Now, a long time ago, there was this fella. His name was Leroy Wallace McNally. Lee Wally. That's what all his friends and family called him. Now, Lee Wally, he lived in a little town called Highlands, North Carolina. Actually, just outside of town, he had a little farm with his wife, Mary Sue, and his son, Leroy Wallace III, who they called Buster. Well, they lived there, and they were doing all right for a while. Then the Depression hit, and, well, times got hard. So he started a little side business. Uh, he was making home liquor or uh, moonshine. Out in the still of the night, he'd be out there, sitting by the still, waiting for it to cook. And, well, Lee Wally, he got bored. And so he'd take the newspaper, and he'd do the crossword and some things, and then he'd start drawing little mustaches on all the faces and and uh, making mustaches on all the women too and and pretty soon he was making all little zigzags all over all that paper and you know, he started a bad habit that he couldn't stop doing any little piece of paper he'd get he'd put doodles on it he'd be drawing little things back and forth and little shapes and twirls he had a pretty good time doing it and it kept him occupied problem was after depression was over and the moonshine was all done he started working at a bank and he was doing the same thing he'd be in a meeting he'd make it little little shapes making faces of all kinds of stuff and people it irritated him because he was always looking down all you could see is the top of his head all the time now Mary Sue she loved him no matter what and after a while his friends and co-workers they got used to it too but not Buster his son Buster it drove him crazy he hated it. Mom, he goes to my baseball games. He doesn't pay any attention. All he does is look down at that pad. Why, it's because he's keeping the book, son. You know, he's in charge of keeping all statistics. I know, but if you look at that book, Mom, there's a bunch of little zigzags and doodles all over it. I mean, he, all he does is make pictures all the time. And he's got that other pad, or he's always got some pad or another. It drives me crazy. Well, son, you just have to get used to it like the rest of us. Well, time went on, and when he was in his 80s, Lee Wally read in the paper that President Reagan had the same habit. In his cabinet meetings, President Reagan would make little shapes and zigzags, squares and circles, and all kinds of little shapes and figures on his paper. And so Mary Sue, for a surprise, sent away a couple of Lee Wally's best ones to President Reagan and oh, to her surprise, Mr. President Reagan wrote back and gave him one too. All signed and it was Lee Wally's prized possession. Well, it, it, he was mighty proud of it. It almost gave him validation for what he'd done in so, his whole life. But still, Buster, he could not stand it. It drove him crazy. Buster, well, he could not stand to have his paw, Lee Wally, doodle all day. Fare thee well.